So first construct the truth table. We have three variables P, Q and R. If your first two statements are true, then the final statement also true. Contingency means a statement that can be true or false depending on the truth value. So in implication, except this true and false. If your first condition is true, second condition false means the final condition also false. Hello everyone, welcome back to my new session. I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Grade College, Mysore. So in my last session, I have discussed some important questions on tautology and contradiction. So today I will discuss very important questions that is question paper problems on tautology. First important question is, construct the true table Q and negation R implies P or R. We have three variables P, Q, R. So first construct the truth table. We have three variables P, Q and R. First write the truth values. So first column, four condition is true and four condition is false. And for second column, two condition is true, two condition is false. True, true, false, false. And for third variable, true, false, true, false, true, false, true and false. So first you have to write the possibilities for P, Q, R. Then find negation R. So negation we can also written as this symbol or this symbol. So negation R. So what is the negation of this R? True changes to false. False to true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true. So these are the negation for this R. And next find out Q and negation R. Just consider this Q column and negation R column with and operation. Q and negation R. We have to use the AND operation. So in AND operation, if any one of the statement is false, the condition also false. If any one of the condition is false, statement is false. Otherwise, true, true means it is true. So both the condition is false means false. Any one of the condition is false, it is false. And true, one condition is false means false. And true, true means condition true. And false, false is false. Any one of the condition is false. So the statement also false. So this is and operation with Q and negation R. And next we have to find P or R. We have to use R operation. So just consider the column P column and R column. So what is our operation? If any one of the condition is true, so the statement also true. So true, true means true. True, false is true. True, true, true. True, false, true. False, true, also true. False, false means false. False, true, true. False, false is false. So this is your R operation. So finally you have to find Q and negation R implies P or R. You have to use these two columns. Q and negation R. So these are the truth values. So here you have to use implication. So implication means if your first condition is true, second condition false means only it is false. Otherwise all the conditions are true in implication. So here I have false and true. Condition is true. True, true, true. False, true, true. False, true, true. False, true, also true. But true, false is false. Otherwise, all the conditions are true in implication, right? So, this is your truth table for a given problem. It is very simple concept, right? So, please practice these problems. The next very important question is, this is your question paper problem again. So, construct the truth table. Here, first you have to check how many variables are there. So, here we have three variables P, Q and R. 
So first write the truth values for PQR. How to write the truth table? So first four are true, 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 true and false, 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 false. And next column, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. And the last column, true, false, true, false, true, false, true and false. So here I have written the truth values. So next find out negation R. Negation R is true changes to false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true. And P by conditional Q. That means P if and only if Q. What is the truth table for by conditional if your first statement and second statement is true, then it is also true. And first statement and second statement is false, then it is true. Otherwise, it is false. If your first two statements are true, then the final statement also true. If your first two statements are false, then the final statement also true. Otherwise, it is false condition. So, true false is false, false true is false. So this is your biconditional true table. So now we can simplify the P biconditional Q. So here just consider P and Q column. So true true means condition is true. True true is true. True false is false. True false is false. False true also false. False true false. False false is true. False false is true. If your first statement and second statement is both are same, then the condition is true. So true, true means true, false, false means true. In biconditional, if both the conditions are true, then it is true. And both the conditions are false, then it is true. Otherwise, it is false. And next we have to find out P or, so you have to find P column and negation R column. We have to use the R operation. So here, so first value is true and false. So in our operation, if any one of the condition is true, then the statement also true. So we have true and false statement is true. So true and true, 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 false, true, 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 false, false is false, false, true, true, false, 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 true is true. So this is your P or negation R. Q implication R. You just observe this Q column and R column. Between we have to use implication that is conditional statements. So in conditional statement, all the statements are true except this true and false condition. So if your first statement is true, second statement is false, then it is false. Otherwise, everything is true. So this is Q and R. You just see the column of Q and negation R. So true false means it is false. True 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 false false also true. False true true but true false is false. True 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 false false true. False true is also true. Except this true false all other conditions are true in implication. So now Q implication R you just see this column Q and column R. In implication, true true means it is true, but true false means it is false. Except this true false, every conditions are true in implication. So true false means it is false. False true also true, false false true, true true true, true false is false. False true true, false false is true. So this is your Q implication R. And next statement is P implication, Q implication R. So you just observe this P column with this Q implication R column. Now true and true. So it is true. True and false. It is false. True, true, true. And true, true again true. False, true is true. False, false. True, false, true, true, false, true, true. And next one we have to find P implication Q. You just observe these two column P and Q column. 
So here we have to use implication that is conditional statement P and Q. So here true true means it is true except this true false all the conditions are true in implication true 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 and true false is false true false 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 true false true false 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 finally we have to find p implication q or r p implication q means this column with this r column here we have to use r operation in our operation, if any one of the condition is true, all the conditions are true. So true, true means true and false, true, 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 false, true, false, false is false, true, 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 false, true is true, 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 false, true is true. So this is a method for constructing the truth table. So I've explained all the steps for constructing the truth table, right? So please practice these problems easily. You can score in this topic. So now the next concept is tautology and contradiction already have discussed in my previous session, right? Tautology means a statement which is always true is called as tautology. Contradiction means a statement which is always false and contingency means a statement that can be true or false depending on the truth value. So it is called as tautology, contradiction and contingency. So you can expect this question for two marks. And the next problem we have prove that for any propositions P and Q the compound proposition is. So we have one proposition we have to find out is a tautology. So here I will take this statement let S is equal to the statement. So you have to construct the truth table you have to find out whether it is a tautology or not. Here I will take S is equal to the given statement. We have two statements called P and Q. So here instead of taking true and false I have taken 1 and 0. So true means condition is 1, false means condition is 0. So here I have taken false, 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 true, true, false, true and true. So first you have to find out negation P. So what is negation of this P? 0 changes to 1, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 0. And negation Q, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0. And next find out P implication Q. So in implication, except this true and false, if your first condition is true, second condition false means the final condition also false, except this all other conditions are true in implication, right? So here, how to find P implication Q. So 0, 0 means it is false, false condition. So it is a true value. And 0, 1 means false, true condition. It is true. And true, false means condition is 0. True, false means condition is false. So it is 0. And true, true means condition is true. And next find out the statement negation Q and here I am using and P implication Q. So for finding this you just observe this negation Q column with P implication Q. That's it. Very simple. So negation Q column and P implication Q column. So 1 and 1 is 1. So today I have discussed the question paper problems on tautology and contradiction, right? So in my next session, I will discuss the problems on tautology and contradiction and logical equivalence. Thank you.